Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Kim Potter, Dayton, Tennessee. How far do you want to go? Jesus said it like this, According to your faith, be it unto you. Matthew 9, 29. One night while waiting to hear from God on a particular prayer, God said to me, I can only take you as far as you're willing to go. He went on to say, You will have to give up a few things. And he quoted to me scripture from Hebrews 12.1. Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight, the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Or how about this from the Amplified Bible? Therefore then, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses who have borne testimony to the truth, let us strip off and throw aside every encumbrance every unnecessary weight, that sin which so readily, deftly, and cleverly clings to and entangles us, and let us run with patient endurance and steady and active persistence to the appointed course of the race that is set before us. The portion he highlighted to me was, let us lay aside every weight and sin which so easily ensnares us. Now, I'm not in sin. However, the Bible says in Romans 14, 23, for whatever is not of faith is sin. Therefore, if I am not fully in faith to God, that is sin. I did a little word study on this scripture to find out what it's saying. In the areas where there is not complete reliance on God, where you are not fully persuaded or convinced of what God has said, in this area you are missing the mark. You have veered off the path God has for you. God can only take us as far as we are willing to go. If we veer off the path that God has for us, we can't move forward. If we can't move forward, we are missing what God has for us. We are settling for less than is best. How then do we make certain we remain on the path that God has for us? Well, by laying down every weight, every unnecessary encumbrance that is slowing us down. What weights are slowing us down today? Could it be a relationship that God isn't pleased with? Could it be what is feeding you? Maybe it's the daily news or media of some sort, like social media, movies. Maybe you shouldn't watch it if God were with you. Perhaps it is even anger or unforgiveness, maybe fear that's weighing you down. Whatever it is, you must cast it off. If not, it will absolutely weigh you down and keep you from obtaining the prize. Another key in this scripture is found in the word endurance. The King James Version says, patience. After researching this word in Strong's Concordance, I found it to mean steadfastness, consistency, perseverance. It also means to continue, to profess your faith. We can't seem to get away from the profession of our faith lately, can we? The Bible is not saying we sit around patiently waiting for God to do something. No, instead, we are to continue to declare his word consistently and with complete perseverance. If we do that, we are not only going to finish the race, but win the prize, my friend. God can only take us as far as we're willing to go. How far are you willing to go today? What are you willing to cast aside? What weight will you cast aside to obtain God's best for your life? That's the question for all of us. One only we can answer. May our answer take us into God's promises, into the very center of the best that he has for us. Let's pray. Father God, sometimes I feel like a double-minded man. Lord, I tell you, I want to go far in your kingdom, in your plan, and in your purpose. All the while, I hold on to these weights. Lord, I'm encumbered by these weights sometime. Holy Spirit, help me to cast it off. Help me to not find my reliance on what I'm clinging to in the natural or in my own thinking, God. But help me to cling to you. Help me, Lord, to look to you, God, to increase my faith or the use of my faith onto the things that you want me to, God. Lord, may my faith be strong. May it be unto me, may it be unto my friend, according to the faith that is alive and active on the inside of us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.